Hello, uh, my name is Jorge Pomar. I am from Buenos Aires, Argentina. My signature name is Amor. And I'm here in Ivano Frankivs that I painted four circles in full colors, shapes. Here we have uh, two circles and on the other side we have other two circles. On the top you will see the color palette I used in both uh, walls. I work mainly on <clears throat> in situ spaces. I think a lot on the context and who is going to see these artworks in public space. I think that uh, public space is a very important issue to develop in the cities nowadays, in the whole world, uh, because it's the environment that uh, we all share together. Streets, the buildings, um, the walls that make separations between people. And I think that if we paint the walls, not only in gray or black or white, uh, we can all live more easily together. On the left side, I painted white, uh, blue and red. In this case, pro-Ukrainian people and red represents pro-Russian people. My work also focus on political issues. And on this side, uh, I painted um, eight colors that are present in the flags in the, of the world, like primary and secondary colors and white and black. I wanted to, to work with these colors because they are the principal colors uh, of my palette work, maybe. And this represents, as I said, as I said this Prapov, uh, context and situations and colors and these are like diagrams that represent numbers but in the end diagrams cannot represent anything because diagram diagrams are not reality are just geometrical shapes and reality is more intense and um, vivid than shapes and in the end reality shows that people is dying in somewhere and shapes cannot do anything for that, diagrams either and colors either. On the other side I painted um, a circle full of yellow and another circle uh, going from blue to red and in the middle there is a white color. Um, so as I was saying, uh, this is a violence calculator. Uh, blue is on the top, red is on the bottom, and there are uh, tones, like bar uh, shades, shapes of uh, these two colors. For me, blue represents peace and red represents violence. And as we know, Ukraine is in a very sensitive situation nowadays and I think that the general, a big group of people don't want to be in this situation, that is bullshit. Just a group of people about war business considering and that is just winning their own money or their own power or their own jealousy or their own ego. And on the other side there is a yellow circle uh, representing uh, people that don't support war and people that don't support war is full is more full of light and it also represents the sun as i was saying before these circles are only shapes and diagrams and diagrams don't represent reality uh, so it can be also ironic here we have a pizza full of flavors and on the other side we only have another pizza and this can be another pizza and another pizza. That's why I like this uh, ironic way of working in public space, to make people think and to give elements to think in other ways, not, not, not just to draw cute and funny and funny things. Uh, about painting funny and cute stuff, this is the case. Um, I 
was thinking about the um, context also. And here we are in a children's hospital. Um, so I thought that the best way to work on this space uh, was uh, to be very colorful and to be uh, innocent and naive. And so that's why I painted uh, animals from Ukraine and plants from Ukraine, flora and fauna, and a little castle, a medieval castle that represents maybe the history of Ukraine and how was the city built, especially Ivano-Frankivsk that has this um, bastion. So I painted a crocodile, a snake, a dolphin, a halka, some apples. Uh, we are in a space full of apple trees here, some flowers. So this may be, apart from this pre representing uh, flora and fauna from Ukraine, also represent my experience here. Uh, last week I was in Carpathian region, that's why I painted a snake. I saw a snake when I was camping there. Uh, we went to the river and it was a space like um, there are no crocodiles of course there but it was a space that you could find in your imagination a crocodile there. Foxes with a um, funny tail, uh, very common in Ukraine. Dolphins from Odessa, Halka from Ivano-Frankivsk, shield, flowers that people sell in the street here in the, near the city hall. I put the uh, flags of Argentina and Ukraine just to make a relation between both cultures. And the sun that is present since I get here. It's summertime and it's really, really hot. Before coming here, I was expecting something uh, very original. And how you say? Mm. <laughs> I can't find the word. I mean, painting in the street is something very new in some way. It's a movement kind, uh, quite uh, small, and it's growing up very, very, very fast. Now every country and every city has it, its own scene, and coming to eastern parts of the world, like here for example, Eastern Europe, very Eastern Europe, and very close to Russia for example, uh, all these parts that were very um, repressed. There is a, I saw that there is a new concept going on about post-graffiti. In a way, graffiti is a, a little bit dead, uh, it's in its ends maybe and it's uh, something new is growing up from that like a new branch and I think that here there is a very nice development about this and uh, especially in abstract painting um, post graffiti and uh, post Soviet um, I found so very nice and interesting artist during the last two weeks <coughs> and <coughs> with, the, with their own style and their own ideas and, and very clear ideas also about what to do in a wall, for example. I see that here in Ukraine there are a lot of spaces to work and a lot of grey walls. So maybe it's the moment to start with something new, something different and to work on that um, darkness maybe that you can see in some parts of the urban landscape. So uh, I came here to Ivano-Frankivsk. I spent in total nine days. I was going to stay less days, like five or six, but I felt very happy here. Uh, the people is very cool. Projects were very, very organized. And the teamwork that I worked with was very cool and very um, 
available all the time, especially Vitali and all the assistants I had. I want to thank uh, very much to Yura from Warm City, uh, Lilia, Roma, Katia, uh, everybody that helped me a lot working here. I didn't expect this at all. So I am very, very happy about coming here and I know that if I come back, um, I have a place to stay. And I have like, like a very good relations uh, made. I think that when I was in Buenos Aires, just, become, just coming here to Ukraine, I was expecting something very different. Uh, people more, I was expecting people more cold and more distant, but in the end I felt like there is a, a relation very close to Latin lifestyle. In Argentina people is very warm and very communicative. I felt that here it's almost the same and it was a big surprise for me. That's why, that's why I want to come back. Yeah. <laughs>